I don't think in many educational settings you'd get the chance to plan an exhibition. Initially I didn't really have much of a clue of what we've got so it was nice to have that and seeing what the criteria is to buy and wear. Having experience both in creating art but also organising things to do with art is quite useful to have. I've been recommending it to anyone I can. The aim of Future Ferns is really to give young people an insight into the workings of an art gallery and also to realise how wonderful the collection at the Ferns actually is, how expansive it is, the kind of narrative that it wants to tell, the work that goes into telling that narrative through collecting art. Then you've also got a whole professional development aspect to the project, giving young people a real insight into curation, into the thought processes that go into building a collection, and even into actually building that collection themselves. The first project coincided with the New Contemporary Show. That was a fantastic opportunity to hit two of our main focal areas to engage young people aged 18 to 25 in the Ferrans and what the Ferrans is doing and to also develop that audience for that age range as well. We started with the new contemporaries artists and we looked at the whole exhibition and then we made a short list of the artists and the pieces that we liked and then we came up with a theme from there which was the craft. The more we explored the theme together as a group, the more we had an idea of which artists suited it more, which we would want to talk to more. It kind of pieced itself together as we talked about it. Titles was fun, trying to think of different like titles and different phrases because we didn't want to just establish it just craft, we wanted to kind of make it more inviting to everyone. It's to be or not to be uh, and then that is the question about craft. Uh, yeah, but it was like a combination of opinions, but I kind of like got inspired by like Shakespeare and like music lyrics. My input mostly was asking a few questions in regards to accessibility. I tried to help a bit with the questions that were asked and stuff like that. When it came to the events night, I was in charge of recruiting people. I don't feel like I previously really had much organising experience. They all really rose to it really well, stepped up to the plate. Leading up to events can get quite intense really, especially for young people who have got all this other stuff going on as well. I was very pleased with it. It was terrible weather, but it was a really good attendance. There was a good mixture of young people and older people. The artists really enjoyed it and the discussion went well. There were plenty of audience questions, which is always a good marker of people's engagement with the evening. None of us wanted it to just be a Q&A. We wanted to have some sort of activity. And I kind of suggested that we got the artists doing some sort of craft process to get other people involved. And that worked really well because we talked to the artists, so we wanted other people to as well. I feel like probably my favorite part of the evening itself was getting to talk to the artists one-on-one -on -one and like getting inside their head a bit. Like before I met the artists, I didn't know anything about pricing my work, getting into the industry, stuff like that, and I came out with that knowledge and those resources. I think it's a good programme to have, especially because in Hull I don't think really we have anything as such. I think it's nice for young people to be able to express themselves also, to be able to build the creative voice and also the critical voice doing these events and stuff. It makes you think about the artwork that's been already exhibited and what future things are going to happen with the future ferrons. For me, next I want to go to study fine art and I think the course I've picked has been quite influenced by this because I realised that after planning this event and looking at gallery work and curation, I realised that I wanted that to be a portion of the degree. I would definitely recommend it. It's been a lot of fun and I didn't think that I would find it as fun as I am. I really initially went in with the thoughts that this is really good experience even if you don't particularly enjoy it. And then after the first couple sessions, I was like, no, I'm actually really loving this. 